I've been an internet marketer for several years now. One thing I've noticed is that a lot of the people, a lot of the marketers that create software products are the ones that end up having seven figure businesses. So that's one of the reasons why you want to get into the software business. I'm not saying that you're going to have a seven figure business or a six figure business, but it is a very lucrative industry. Um, software products, they have a higher perceived value than all other forms of digital products such as ebooks, video courses, audiobooks, etc. And another advantage to getting into the software business is the barrier to entry. There's not much competition out there. If you create a software product, you know, you're not going to have much competition with that compared to other forms of products. For example, if you write a how-to book on a certain topic, um, you know, you're going to have lots of competition um, for that book. There's going to be lots of other people that's going to write something on similar topic okay now this course uh, will cover the following topics it's gonna cover um, how to come up with ideas for your software product uh, how to come up with the features to include in your software product how to find software programmers to create your software product and uh, how to manage your project when you're working with your programmer, you have to be very clear on what you want and be specific with the details. So you have to make sure you've done your research already uh, before you hire someone to start working on your project. Okay, and you should also find out how long after they finish creating your software uh, will they be able to fix any bugs. So it, in my opinion, it should be at least six months after they've completed the software where you know they could still fix anything that's wrong with your software. <clears throat> Another thing you want to do um, when you're creating a software product is not to just outsource everything to the programmer and then just be hands off. I mean you really have to get involved and get your hands dirty if you really want this to be a successful software product. Okay. And instead of just telling them to, to just create your software product you should break it down into smaller tasks so that it's easier to work on and it'll be better for you to basically monitor um, the progress of your software product okay so for example you can have weekly or bi-weekly tasks or goals uh, for them to complete to make it easier for you to manage this project okay and you could also encourage your programmers or coders um, by giving them bonuses for doing well on some of the tasks that you give them. Okay, and you also want to let your programmers know ahead of time what your budget is so they know what to expect. And so with that being said, you shouldn't pay by the hour because it's hard to track the actual hours that they work and uh, that only encourages people to, to take their time on your project. Now let's talk about finding software programmers for your project. Now there are various sites that you can go to to find programmers where they will bid on your projects and you can select the programmers based on the best price. Um, but remember you have to also make sure to select programmers based on their skills and how well you feel comfortable working with them. Okay, so I've listed a few sites, the most popular sites where you can find programmers. There's rentacoder.com, uh, elance.com, scriptlance.com, and guru.com. And you can also go to coding forums or other types of forums where programmers hang out to find people that are passionate about creating software products okay so now when you visit these sites where programmers could bid on your projects you have to know how to present your project so make sure to first view how other people are listing your projects and how they're they are describing them on these sites okay and you have to also be very careful you don't want to give out too much information about your project because you don't want people stealing your ideas so when you first post a project the information that you should reveal at first is, is what is needed for the programmer to know if your software product is something that they are qualified 
to work on. Alright, so let's talk about coming up with a list of features and details of what your software is going to include. Okay, you're going to remember to keep it simple though, because it's not about how many fancy features and buttons that your software has. It's about how the software can benefit the user. Okay, because sometimes it's the most simple software that can become a best selling product. Okay, but before you can approach a software developer, you must have a list of features and details about the software product you plan to create. Okay, so to get ideas, you can look at other software products uh, in a similar industry. Uh, and also, what you can do is go to a website called hotscripts.com. And this site includes programs and scripts in every popular programming language. So this is a great way for you to get familiar with the different types of software out there. And you could also read the reviews for the various software products on that site. And basically, the more knowledge that you have, the better the software you can have developed. Coming up with ideas for your software. So before you create a software product, you need to know what it's going to bring to the table. You need to know what problems it's going to solve because that's what software pro what software tools do is that they solve problems or potential problems. Okay, so first let's start with ourselves. Okay, do you have a problem in your business or, or personal life that can be solved with a software tool? Because let's face it, if you have a problem, I'm pretty sure there's going to be other people out there with similar problems as you okay so your problem is not unique to yourself you must also know your target audience that you plan to sell your software to so basically it comes down to two things okay consumers have a particular problem that needs to be solved and two they are looking for something that will make their life easier okay you can also look at social media forums and your customer base to get an idea of what types of problems um, your customers or potential customers have and what they're willing to pay for because most of the time people will tell you what they want and if you give it to them they will buy it okay and oftentimes it's simply a matter of taking something that already exists and making it better or expanding on the current software so you gotta ask yourself what software out there has room for improvement okay and you gotta remember this it's not about just creating and selling software products you know there's a lot of money to be made in so selling software products don't get me wrong but it's also about knowing what software products to create so that's why it's important to know your target audience and know what it's like to be in their shoes